We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper. She. Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper! Can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster. No one is going to hurt Meryl while I'm here. You murder our Keeper and think you can threaten us, Shem. We've suffered enough because of this traitor. It ends now. What are we talking about? Believing. You do, I can tell. In freedom, in mages, in good spirits, in bad Templars. With more fire than the sun. And your point is? I miss it sometimes. Things being certain. Some things are certain. Not anymore.
Oh, look who's here. Time to change the locks again. I knocked this time. Bodan let me in. Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. We're going to get him before he gets me. We're going to surprise Castillon. I love surprises. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. What a plan. Your scheming ability puts me to shame. Well, I haven't worked out all the kinks. Step one, we go to Velasco. Step two, something exciting happens. Step three, profit. Well, do you have a better idea? If we kill him and search his body, we might find something. Or we could find nothing and get nowhere. We could hit him till he talks. You'll just end up killing him. Couldn't we just ask Velasco where Castillon is? Nicely. He's not going to reveal anything willingly. I can't risk him getting suspicious and alerting Castillon. Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And you follow me. Ooh, that's clever. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. This is so much better. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. It's your attention. Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? Well, I thought so, right up until you asked me that. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. The dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither, Than Harrell, the Dread Wolf. He was kin to the Creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the Forgotten Ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Than Harrell was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side, and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the Creators it was forged in the heavens, and the Forgotten Ones that it was hidden in the Abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. Betrayal sounds bad. Next time, I'll go with flowers. It's not bad, exactly. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento. Thank you. You too. A rough, hurr, rough, rough. You know, I'm starting to think Sandal is watching me. Dio, 
old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise. If I may say so, I don't think Mistress Merrill is exactly um, comfortable staying in the estate. She's pretty. I suppose a dealer shelf isn't used to having a roof over her head, even after all these years. Still, my boy and I do like her very much. Just thought you should know. You know, I'm starting to think Sandal is watching me. You like the shiny?
You like the shiny? gift from Aveline. She certainly knows her spirit. Its eyes follow me around the room. Creepy. Didn't Fenris say all Tevinter wine is made from the blood and tears of slaves? I hope he was exaggerating. Another invitation requesting the presence of the champion. How many noble parties are there each week? Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. Arana's a patient music teacher, but... Meryl should really just stick to magic. Oh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. I wonder how much coin I'd make selling my memoirs. The only thing Meryl's moved in. 
Maybe she doesn't feel that this is her home yet. I could have left the amulet in there and forgotten all about it. What would the witch have done then? I wonder where Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone who will listen, most likely. I hope all is well, Master. Handprint? Was someone swinging on the chandelier? Meryl. I can't bring myself to change anything about Mother's room. Didn't I see this crest hanging somewhere in the Viscount's keep? Is that... Isabella? Who carves that into a stairwell? Well, maybe two marks and a character to the piece. <laughs> 